Hi everybody, it's Steph. So how do you choose a good domain name? This is a video I do every now and then because I get the question every now and then. And this changes every now and then because the web is changing. So back in the past, 10 years ago, choosing a, a domain name was affected by the domain name extension. What's the extension? .com, .net, .org, .info, those are all domain name extensions. Now, if you know the basics of domain names, you know that studioweb.com is different from studioweb.org. I could own both domains, but they're not the same address. So you could have two different companies owning each of these domain names. Anyway, the rule of what makes a good domain name, a couple of rules. Number one, you want to keep the, the domain names short and easy to say and spell. So a good domain name is Google. Very simple, easy to spell. A good domain name is Studio Web. Very easy to spell and say. So that's the number one rule to this day. Does the, the, the domain name have to reflect the business? You know, so if you were a plumber, should you have plumber in your domain name? You don't have to have it. It's not at all a, a rule. It could help a little bit with the search engines and the search engine ranking, but that's it's not nearly as, as important as it was at one time. So the domain name of your site does not have to have the same name as your company. It does not have to necessarily reflect what your company or your site is about. You see these, you know, like Flickr, uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook, Google, these are Yahoo. You know, do, do, do these names have really anything to do with the uh, nature of the site but, uh, or the business under these names? Not really. So number one rule, make sure that the domain name is as short as possible. Make sure that they're easy to spell, easy to remember. And whether the, the, the domain extension is .com, .net, .org, .biz, doesn't really matter. It, these days, people don't see much of a difference.